Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacool Math Mania. My name is Captainist123 and today we will be learning about problem solving using perimeter and area. There are many ways we can apply perimeter and area formulas to determine results for realistic problems. Mandy is working on a farm and has many measurements to take. In today's lesson, we will see how she uses area and perimeter formulas. Mandy firstly measures the distance around this rectangular plot of land. The plot is 75 meters long and 55 meters wide. The perimeter will be the sum of all the sides. That means two lengths and two breadths. So we can say two multiplied by length plus breadth. When we use 75 as the length and 55 for the breadth, we get a perimeter of 260 meters. Mandy also has to determine the area of the land. She uses the formula for the area of a rectangle, length multiplied by breadth. This gives an area of 75 meters multiplied by 55 meters, which gives us 4,125 meters squared. The plan is to make sections to plant specific crops. Each section is proposed to be a square, measuring five meters long, 5 meters wide. Mandy must figure out how many of these square sections would be able to fit within the rectangular plot. To solve this problem, Mandy must find out how many times the area of the small squares can fit into the large rectangular area. She must divide. The area of the square sections is side multiplied by side. In this case, 5 meters multiplied by 5 meters, which is equal to 25 meters squared. The number of square sections she can fit within the rectangular plot will be the area of the entire rectangular plot divided by the area of each square section. Using our values obtained, we will divide 4,215 meters squared divided by 25 meters squared. This gives us 165 square sections. Lastly, Mandy wants to buy a separate square plot of land with the same perimeter as the original rectangular plot. If you recall, that plot had a perimeter of 260 meters. She needs to figure out how long each side must be for the square plot she's interested in. The perimeter of a square is given by the formula 4 multiplied by the length of side S. This square must have a perimeter of 260 meters. This tells us that 4 multiplied by S is equal to 260 meters. If 4 times a number is 260, to find that number, we must divide 260 by 4 to give us S. This gives us a side length of 65 meters. Exercises on Pennacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.